In this problem, we have two straight lines intersecting each other, and we've got some variables and some number expressions here, and our job is to find out the values of x and z, the variables in this figure. To solve a problem like this, you need to know something about vertical angles and linear pairs. The idea behind vertical angles is that when two lines cross each other, where they intersect, it makes these four angles, and the angles that are across from each other, opposite each of each other, those are always the same measure. So if this is 60 degrees, then this is going to be 60 degrees. And you can actually, if you just know one of these angles, you can figure out any of the four angles because here you have what's called a linear pair. A linear pair happens when you've got a straight line that's intersected by another line. And here, these two angles along the straight line add up to 180 degrees. They're supplementary. So if this is 60, then this will be 120. And because this angle here and this angle are another vertical angle, um, we can say that's 120 as well. So this is the information we're going to use to solve this figure here. First of all, I can find z because these two make a linear pair. So all I have to do is take 180 minus 119 to find the value of z. So that is going to be uh, 61. So z equals 61 degrees. Now let's find um, this x here. I've got 13x minus 50 up here. I've got 119 down here. This, these are vertical angles. So they, they are the same measure. So I can just set these two quantities equal to each other. So 13x minus 50 equals 119. Now I have an equation. I can just solve that for x. So let's see. I'll need to get the x term alone. So I will add 50 to both sides. And that gives me 13x equals 169. And then to finish solving for x, I need to divide by 13, because that's what's multiplied by x there. I've got to do that to both sides. And let's see. 169 divided by 13 is 13. So x is 13, and z is 61. So that is how to solve an equation involving a vertical angle.